I think the, uh, the statistics going into the game uh, says, says enough for itself. I think most of the games that have been, test cricket that's been played in this venue um, in the recent past has, has indicated that teams that have bowled first it, um, it ended up winning, I think, a high percentage of the games. And I think that was the thinking behind it. I'm sure it was, um, you know, just moving around a bit in the beginning. It was sort of, I think, slowish off the wicket. But, um, you know, look, assessing the, the, the first hour, you know, I thought we, we did well and we bowled well. And I, th I think having them 90 for four, we had a real opportunity to, to make some inroads. We thought it, it was going to be quite tough this morning, but um, if we got through that initial stage, it, it looked like it was going to be quite a nice wicket, and it actually was. It, it played really well throughout the day, it had a good pace and bounce, and there's actually a few cracks forming as well. So um, hopefully, uh, with the heat overhead, we can get a big first innings total and um, let the pla uh, let the cracks uh, play, play come come into the game later in the game. You know, 90 for four, we had a real opportunity. I thought. That, uh, Sean Marsh and, and Steve Smith played really, really well. It was a chanceless, pretty much a chanceless partnership. Uh, the ball did get a lot softer and, and the wicket did play a lot bit slower and better as the day went on. So, um, you know, I thought that we, we had our opportunities, but credit to them, they really batted really well. Yeah, Sean was amazing all day. He, um, he did, as I said about myself before, he sort of just let the ball come into his areas. He left really well and when the ball got into his areas, um, he really capitalised on that. And to be at um, four for 295 at the end of a day's play when you got sent in, I think it's um, we're in a very good position. But uh, we have to start well in the morning and hopefully build as many runs as we can and, and put, put South Africa under some pressure. I think we should make it clear and I think we save everyone a bit of typing energy and everything else that then not make no comparison to Jock Callis. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's leave it right there. Um, he is an ex exceptional cricketer and um, I think it's unfair to be to making comparisons to him. He's one of the ball's best cricketers. But as far as my own position and the team is concerned, I was given in, you know the task of performing this all rounders role at um, you know bowling second change or first change, and, and obviously having a huge role to to play at number seven. And, and I, I see it as that. So um, you know I don't as I say, there's no indication of how many test matches I'll play or whatever. But I'll try and make use of the opportunity as best I can. They're quality campaigners and. Um, you know, they're, they're going to be uh, at you all the time. Um, you just have to be patient and, and wait till they get into areas where you know you can score and um, just keep waiting for it. And, you know, you've got to just keep, keep waiting because they, they, they do get impatient at times and you just got to keep waiting and capitalise when they do get there. Today was just a, a case of, of um, us, again, starting. I thought we started off well. I mean, 90 for four, and I think any team would take that from a bowling perspective. Like, again, I say we had opportunities, but... They batted really well. They got to, you know, got to give credit to the way that um, that, that Marsh and Smith batted. Um, you know, maybe we should have, you know, we could have increased the intensity going into the into the second session or so. But um, you know, tomorrow's another day. We're going to have to come back fighting. And I think that this team has showed its character in the past to to come back and bounce back the following day. And I've got no doubt that the boys will respond positively tomorrow morning.